I may be new at renovation, but I've got one room done. Now I can say, this ain't my first rodeo. Time to get back in the saddle. I've got work to do. Welcome to Trixie Cosmetics, the first business that I built from the ground up. I'm spinning a lot of plates here, so I'm hoping to kill two birds with one stone by doing a Trixie Cosmetics photo shoot in the next motel room. Hi. Typing, selling, shipping, boxing, crying. Okay, good, 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 good. As someone who runs multiple businesses, I'm no stranger to multitasking. I don't know where my vodka is, but we'll talk about it. It's a lot of pressure, but as a drag mogul, you have to be able to lead from the front. I'm so happy to be here. I've been gone because the motel project has been like so preoccupying. Yeah, how's that going? Well, if you thought making makeup was complicated, renovating a building that people are going to stay in is also very complicated. Is anyone helping you? No, it's a lot like this company where I tell everyone I do it all myself, but I get a lot of help. <laughs> That's exactly what happens. So we just finished the first room, the flamingo room. It took us about three weeks, and we're moving on to the second themed room. And I don't tell everybody this, but I think for this room theme, we're going to do Queen of Hearts. Ooh. I love that. Yeah, because drag queen and hearts, I think that's a really fun theme. We can keep it funky and retro, but because it's heart, maybe focus it as like the love room. Yeah, definitely. I think doing a room that incorporates some of our best-selling products in the color scheme means that we can do a product shoot in there. And if we have to do this for a motel, we might as well like jump in there, take some pictures. Get it all done. I don't know why I'm whispering, because I also own the motel, so I don't know who we're, <laughs> who we're secretly stealing from. Well, I got to get back to Palm Springs, but let me know about the campaign for the motel. I'm going to go finish the space so that we can actually shoot in there. Palm Springs is really a magical place. It's in the desert, but it's lush. It's full of history and a little frozen in time, and oh my god, is it ever gay. Starting a business here and being a part of the local community is a dream come true for David and I. Well, we completed one room. One room in, baby. I think I'm starting to get the hang of the permits and the money and the paperwork. And you've gotten really good at, um... I painted a mural. Yeah. I shopped for lamps. If this flopped and then we blame each other, it's like, could our... Could our relationship ever? No. <sighs> Let's make a motel. <laughs> It's a new day and we're taking it one room at a time. The Queen of Hearts is up next. I booked my friend Mo Hart to model and you don't keep a queen waiting. We have two weeks to get this room photo shoot ready. I need to get Danny caught up. Hello. Hello. What's going on in here? I'm trying to figure out what to do in this room. Talk to me. Well, I'm very fond of the heart shape. Okay. This is I one of our hand that. mirrors. That's so which, cute. Yes, I just, I love the shape of a heart. It just makes me happy. It's, it's lovable. We look great. <laughs> the vibe is love, kind of 70s, kind of funky. A room that loves you back. Okay, and the room name? Queen of Hearts. Okay. Everybody who comes in here should feel like a queen and be surrounded by hearts. But also like the card. Oh, like, like playing cards. Yeah. We could play with that, right? Wouldn't that be cute? Do you want to keep the brick wall? I like the brick wall. I love it. It's original, very much like vintage motel. Yeah. But I feel like the only thing we can really do with it is a mural, because we can't wallpaper it. And you know, we want it to be statement. So we got to do a mural. Yeah. Maybe one heart that's up, one heart that's down. That's kind of like cool. a little nod to Queen of Hearts. And then who knows, maybe something's going on in the bed. Maybe you lay your head over the back of the bed and you look at the wall and you see the heart and you're like, oh, that's still turned the right way for me. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, there's also like a room to evoke love, yeah. passion. I love heart furniture. I love a heart tchotchke. What if we had like a heart headboard? That For the bed? That would be really cute. Um, you're thinking like a heart, like a... Yes, like this, but like 20 times the size. Maybe like velvet, velvet, such a sexy fabric. We might have to go custom on this because I don't know like where one can just buy a heart-shaped bed. <laughs> We need to do something with the ceiling. I don't know what it is yet, but there does need to be something, some moment up here. Because if we have this sexy bed and this like funky print. We have to do something. I mean, we definitely need to paint it. I feel like I want to paint every ceiling. You're in bed with your four lovers staring at the ceiling. I love to customize everything. And this is such a special motel. I feel like I want it to be like incredibly unique and like everything one of a kind if we can. Even if people walk in here blackout drunk with one eye open, they're like, oh, I know this is the Queen of Hearts room. The Queen of Hearts, who is she? Since this room is all about love, I want the bed to be the main attraction. The heart-shaped headboard will be custom, sexy, and padded, just like me. On the brick wall, I'm feeling bold and groovy, but we'll keep this mural a little simpler and go wild with hearts everywhere. Let's set the mood with a little sexy pendant lighting and a retro statement love seat. We love an option, and maybe just a touch of shag carpet. The view from the bed will matter in this room, so I'm thinking something really cool on the ceiling. There she is, the queen of hearts. Are you in love? Oh, and as for the bathroom, we'll paint over this drab wood paneling, brighten it up with our groovy color palette, and because reglazing was such a hit in the last room, we'll do the same thing here and turn this tile into a hotter shade of pink. Oh, love it. So, I'm over at the motel today. Rios is here with his team, clearing up all the junk from around the property, and the plumber is also here checking on the hot water system. And I just spoke with the lawyer. Turns out getting a liquor license is a lot more complicated than you would think. In California alone, there's like 90 types of liquor licenses, so it's going to be a lengthy and complicated process. It's not very sexy or fun, but that's my job to take care of that stuff, so stay tuned. Coming up with the visual was easy, but now it's time to do the hard part. I'm used to breaking hearts, but let's break some walls. Okay. Round two. I'm ready to smash this. Here's your favorite. Let me get you a hammer for this. Oh my god. I'm gonna let you do the honor. This motel will have the best air conditioning in the world. Oh, there you go. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome to the gun show. I mean, look at me in there. Yeah. And don't come back. I would have never thought I enjoyed this, but I felt like strong, powerful. Who am I? I could go smash that desk in there. Adios. I grew up in rural Wisconsin doing a lot of labor. My stepdad, he was a handyman carpenter person, so I'd be forced to go help dig holes, and I just hated it. But it's kind of a different thing when it's, it's your baby. So this is the owner. Hi. Uh, this Hi. is the crew, this is the boys. I did that. <laughs> El quitando todo eso. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. I really appreciate it. Have you ever walked into a room to have this many men working for you at one time? It happens to me all the time. The more we took out what was in there, the more I could see what was going in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using it like salad tongs. Oh my god. You're literally paving the way for your vision. This is one of the smaller sizes. Look at the difference. Yeah. Now that there's all this space here. Yes! Oh, you know what? It's connected. No, you know what? I bet you this, this box is for something. Oh, God, what if we find something in there? Could be money. Rats. Oh. Oh. We have two different outlooks. 